Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Anderson Hall prayer. Let us now sing the hymn as it is screened. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's always such a joy to be in the presence of God. So now diving into the word today, as I was praying to God for a word, I very strongly believe that God put this word in my heart and I've titled today's message as a time of exchange with God. So what is this exchange all about? Or what is that season or time of exchange God is calling us into? Or what is God willing to exchange with us? Well, now this for you might be a reminder today, but I strongly believe that this would bless you today. We've all had tough times and we've all had hard days. Our life sometimes is not really a bed of roses all the time. Sometimes we feel like things are going downhill in our life. Sometimes we're clueless as to what is happening in our life. And we've had times when we've questioned ourselves, asking, will I be able to survive all this? Is there even an end to all this? Will I be able to make it? Is there even hope for tomorrow? But I'm here to tell you a reminder and a good news that if we made it this far, then we're already doing great. And God's plan for our lives are beyond what we can think or imagine. His thoughts are higher than ours and His plans bigger than ours. There's a beautiful verse in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, and it goes like this. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And yes, there's hope for tomorrow. And yes, we can do it because God is able. Whatever we're going through today is not permanent and is changing. And I tell you, dawn is breaking. And God, He really wants to walk us into a season and a time of exchange with Him. He calls us from a place of love. He says in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Come to me. Come to me is what God says. He invites us to a time of exchange and encounter with Him. A time when we lay down at His feet all that is pressing us down, all that is weighing us down, and receive all that He gives. And this is that exchange giving God all our burdens and worries and receiving all that He gives. And yes, we have all that we ask for in His name because His word says, Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. 
The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, For if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Today, as you and I have this exchange and encounter with God, as we walk into this place of exchange with God, I'm here to tell you, new things are happening. New blessings are coming. Our desires are being fulfilled. Our needs are being met. Our prayers are getting answered. Our pain and worry is being removed. And God is filling our hearts and minds today with peace and a joy that surpasses all understanding. And that is what He gives. He says, come to me and I am here to give you rest. I am here to give you hope. I am here to give you joy or whatever you need. I'd now like to quote a small story from the Bible. There once was a man who was a centurion. And this centurion had a servant who was sick and was suffering. Looking at his servant's state, the centurion's heart broke. He was beyond upset and he was down with grief. But he knew one thing, that this situation was not permanent and that there was somebody who can change his situation, who can heal his servant and give him peace and joy. So he chose to run to that somebody and that somebody is Jesus. So he went to Jesus and he said, Jesus, I need help. He did tell Jesus all that he was going through. And Jesus said, well, I'm here to give you peace. I'm here to give you joy. I'm here to restore and change everything. And what you're going through today is changing. And Jesus completely restored his health and gave him peace and happiness that he needed that time. That centurion that day was ready for an exchange with God. Are we ready for an exchange with God today? No matter what we're going through today, no matter who we are, no matter what we're doing, you and I can always walk into that place and that point of exchange with God where we have an encounter and a very intimate relationship with Him. Because the Bible beautifully says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. And yes, God does care for us and He knows what's best for us. So we can always cast our burdens and anxiety and our worries and cares on God. And we can present our situation before God and He is able to change it. Whatever you're in need of today, if that's peace or joy that you're needing today, if that's comfort or quietness and spirit that you're looking for today, if that's strength that you're looking for today, if that's hope that you're needing today, whatever be it, I tell you, God is able to meet each of us at the point of a need today. And yes, God is able and He really doesn't want us to carry all the burden. But He says, come, give that to me. I've done that all for you on the cross. And He says, give that to me and receive what I'm giving you. Receive the joy, the peace, the happiness, the comfort, the strength, the hope and everything that you need. I have it for you in store. An exchange with God and an encounter with God today can transform our lives today. Can we pray? Dear Heavenly Gracious Father, we give this time into your prayer. She has mighty hands, Father God. We thank you for this day. Jesus, Lord, we know you're so good and that your plans for our lives are beyond what we can imagine or think. Thank you for you said that your plans are bigger than ours and your thoughts are higher than ours. God, even today, as you are calling us to a time of exchange and encounter with you, where we lay down all that is pressing us down at your feet, God, we are ready to receive what you're giving us today. God, thank you for your finished work on the cross. And thank you for you are meeting your people today at the point of their need. God, I come at this time into your precious mighty hands and I bless your people. I pray for our college and I pray for everyone who is watching this, God. God, thank you for your so good and your mercy it endureth forever. We love you for who you are and what you've been doing in our lives, God. We give you alone all the glory and all honor and all praise. In Jesus' precious mighty name, I offer this prayer. Amen.